and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is already published and uploaded, which you guys may have already seen, but I had quite a lot of comments saying the same thing. One, I talk for the life of me, which I already knew that. Um, it was quite an old video and I was still new to YouTube. And second of all, you all had the same question um, or problem, should I say, and it's how to actually properly get the ruched effect and scrunch um, because you are following my steps, but you're not taking the one simple big tip that actually, um, gives you that scrunch look so I'm going to be giving you guys this tutorial again but sort of like a beginner's guide a step by step and I will be giving you the main crucial tip to actually achieve the ruche effect so please guys listen to this video um, but if you do have any questions which you shouldn't do then feel free to comment them down below because I'll be happy to help you guys out if you do end up enjoying the video please don't forget to smash that thumbs up and if you are new to my youtube channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the cute little bell icon so you never miss an upload so enough chit chat before you guys um, rub it on and moan at me. Let's get straight into my beginner's guide on how to scrunch your shorts. So for this project, I'm gonna make it as simple and easy as possible as this is going to be a sort of beginner's guide. Um, but these are the type of things you're going to need. You're obviously gonna need your shorts, place these inside out. You're gonna need some elastic. Um, make sure you have enough to cover the whole of the back end area. Um, have some thread that matches the color of your clothing, a needle to obviously sew, and a couple of pins. And either get a friend or a family member who's actually got patience, or a heavy-ish object that you know you can lift and isn't dirty. For me, I'm gonna use this stool, and this part is super crucial because I know some of you guys seem to comment on my um, videos for the scrunch because I absolutely love it. Um, you guys say that you can't seem to get the ruched scrunch effect so easy. This is the key, this is the biggest tip of this project, so please, guys, make sure you do this um, and try your hardest to give the greatest scrunch effect that you can by listening to what my instructions that I'm about to give you. Um, start by sewing the top of the elastic at the top of your seam, at the, you know, the booty crack area. Um, sew that as much as possible. Make sure your elastic is long enough. You're just, this is crucial guys, you're just going to stretch the elastic as much as you can and place it, you know, where the JJ, the crotch area is and using the item that you've chosen, you're just gonna lift it and place it on that to hold the elastic down. I mean, you can use a family member or a friend, but I don't think they're really gonna last as long as this whole project's gonna be. So try and get an object if possible to hold it down. And then you're just gonna grab your pins and pin the elastic to the seamless part. Just pin it and try not to pin yourself. Okay, so now we have our pins in place. We're just gonna grab the thread and some needle and sew along the seamless with the elastic as much as possible. One thing I'm gonna do before I sew is place a object underneath um, because I find sometimes you'll end up sewing both sides together and this just ruins the whole project It means we have to start all over again. So try and place something underneath this avoids both sides literally being sewn together And another thing guys I would say as well make sure you are threading as tight as possible I mean if you have a sewing machine go for that hundred percent because it'd be so much easier um, but you want to go over it at least twice um, because if you're like me, you like to wear these scrunch shorts, scrunch leggings out and about. And I like to wear these shorts at the gym and I want to be very sure and 100% that it's going to last. I don't want to be like sitting down and suddenly the scrunch and the thread just snaps off. I mean, that ain't going to be a pretty sight because some fabrics can cause like a hole and a rip. Um, depend how good quality your fabric is. I mean, these shorts are originally leggings are from ebay for like two pounds and i cut them up to shorts so the fabric is super thin and it's not the most greatest quality so personally um 
if you are using some thicker material it wouldn't be that bad you can just go over it once personally I would go over it twice just to be sure so you know the last thing you're gonna do once you've sewn up and down you are just going to kind of um, tighten up the ends and just sew them um, and tie them in a knot this avoids the thread coming undone so it's a typical thing you do when you are sewing so that is the end of the video guys I hope you did enjoy if you do have any questions which you shouldn't do um, then comment them down below but please guys take the number one step that I did give you make sure you do that tip um, because that is what's going to help you achieve the real scrunch look um, and I hope you guys do end up achieving that. Um, but if you do, like I said, have any questions, then just comment them down below. And um, if you did end up enjoying the video, then please don't forget to smash the thumbs up. And if you are new to my YouTube channel and you haven't done so already, and you got this far, I should consider that you um, should end up subscribing to my channel for more DIYs, positivity, fashion, fitness, lifestyle, you know, you name it, the whole shebang will be on my channel. So join my family by hitting the subscribe button down below and hit the cute little bell so you never miss an upload so as always guys i hope you all have such a beautiful blessed fabulous day and i'll see you in my next video bye